Hey, Heritage PE students, it's Coach Jay. So I've got my crew here with me, and we're going to play Ultimate Frisbee. You can play Ultimate Frisbee with a Frisbee, or you can play it with even a football. You could play it with a tennis ball. Maybe your family might get a, another friend family, and you can do it, uh, and you can play this game together out in a yard or in a park or something like that. This is a game you play with two teams, one team trying to score, another team trying to stop that team from scoring. It's a game where you're advancing the Frisbee ahead across a line. Is you have a playing field and you have a line at each end. And as a team, you throw the Frisbee back and forth until you cross that line. So let's go over some rules. Rule number one is you're passing the ball down until you cross the goal line for a point. And it would be similar to American football where you get the ball across the line and it's a touchdown. And ultimate Frisbee, you're getting the ball across the line and you score a point. And then you throw the Frisbee to the other team and give them a turn. Rule number two, the person with the Frisbee can only take three steps. You can't just take the Frisbee and run with it. When you catch the Frisbee, you can only take three steps. So let's demonstrate, all right? So if I get it from my partner, yep, go ahead. I get three steps, I gotta stop, now my partner can go, right? And I can toss to my partner, and my partner gets three steps. Rule number three, you cannot guard the person who's throwing the Frisbee within an arm's length of the Frisbee. You have to be more than an arm's length back. All right, and we have used that PE where if somebody comes too close and you can tag them with the Frisbee, you get five free steps. Rule number four, the Frisbee goes to the other team anytime you do not successfully catch it for any reason. If you do not successfully catch the ball uh, just because you dropped it, you leave it, and the other team picks it up and starts heading the other way with it. So if I'm passing the Frisbee to a teammate and the other team knocks it down, right? It's their Frisbee. I have to back away from it and they get to pick it up and they get to go with it now. Rule number five, interference. If when you're throwing it to someone, a defender comes in and knocks and, and hits them in whatever part of their body before they catch it, that's called interference. You get the Frisbee right there at the point of contact and you get to continue forward. So there's no requirement on how many times you have to throw the Frisbee to score. You can throw it in one long pass. You can throw it in, you can throw it in 12 short passes. It doesn't matter. You can, as needed, throw the Frisbee backwards. So we've got some tips. Now that you're gonna start playing together, here's some tips on how to play better run away from the frisbee. You have a greater chance of getting the frisbee by running away from the frisbee, right? So if we're on the same team, if James and I are on the same team, get away from the frisbee, right? He's got a greater chance of getting that. That's number one. Number two, move. What was number two? Move. You need to know that one because the people who stand like this calling for the frisbee. Frisbee. Uh -huh. frisbee. frisbee. No, it's the player that moves that gets the frisbee. There we go. It's the player that moves that's going to get that frisbee. So if you got to keep moving, keep moving. Run and pause. Okay, so that would be tip number three. If you're running and you're moving, do not just run continuous circles or something silly like that. And do not keep running back and forth. Run and hold your spot for two or three or four seconds. Then run again. Your defender then has to make some decisions about how they're gonna guard you. But if you keep running in circles or back and forth and all around, they'll just, they'll just stay in between all that. But if you, if you run, pause, look around, run, pause, look around, you have a big advantage. That's tip number three. Tip number four, throw the Frisbee where your teammate is going to go not where they are. So if I got a teammate running this way, I don't throw it where he is, I throw it instead where my teammate's going, right? I see where my teammate's running, I'm gonna throw it where they're going, throw it ahead of them. Oh, goodness. All right, so go grab a Frisbee, get some friends, maybe another family, and go give it a go. And we'll see you next time. Anna and David are going to Start by kicking off, we call it kicking off 
to us down at this end. All right. Ooh. Come on, come on. 